Now, oil, money, and who profits is the subject of uh, Big Men. That is a documentary that contrasts the Nigerian oil economic trickle down with the 2007 discovery of oil off the coast of Ghana. Viewers Caroline Turner has more. Big Men shows how the promise of huge wealth brings out ruthless self-interest. The Ghana oil discovery is contrasted with Nigeria's oil economy as the film infiltrates Nigerian militant groups. Do what want to make somebody a big man in Nigeria if you have the money. If you have the money but illegal way or legal way, you are a big man in Nigeria. Nigeria has bad leaders. You see our data state government, he said that he embezzled uh, 60 billion. If you invest 60 billion, I think you are going to get a lot of development. But look at where people are living. As the discovery of oil is exploited in Ghana, the film opens doors to investment boardrooms where global capitalism rules. In our discussion today, we're talking hundreds of millions and billions of dollars. Filmmaker Rachel Boynton says she does not always agree with her subjects, but treats them with respect. Whether it's somebody living in the swamps or somebody living in a mansion or the president of a small developing country, it, I'm talking to these people because I, I believe I have something to learn from them. And that's not to say that I think everyone's always telling me the truth. The enormous risks and staggering costs guarantee its finder a sweetheart deal from the Ghanaian government. That's about two million dollars. <laughs> don't, don't do the rest with Jack. It, it hurts your heart if you think about it. He's a banker, by the way. Mr. President, this is a marvelous reservoir, world class. Mm -hmm. We've got a tiger by the tail, but it's a that's a high class problem to have to learn to deal with. It must be a magician to be holding a tiger by the tail. <laughs> Boynton says the film is about pursuing maximum profit. No one maintains access like this to all these people over this much time and manages to interweave what's called verite, unfolding stories, where you don't know what's going to happen in, in a way where they're connected. The film poses questions. Will the discovery of oil be an economic boom for Ghana? Or will it mirror Nigeria's failure of its oil wealth to benefit its citizens? Then they pointed machetes and guns at me, saying they will kill me if I didn't get out of the way. At that time, they cut the pipeline and set it on fire. It's the third time they have set the pipeline on fire. We use saw blades to cut it. After using saw blades to cut it, we dig a big pit around it. So then all of oil will rush into it and feed it up. Sometimes afterwards, we'll set it on fire. The film does not choose heroes or villains, but there is a message. Where money is talking, those without have no voice. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News, tonight at 1800 UTC. And in the morning, today, break Africa between 0, 0300 and 0, 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Thank you.